So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to Sarah is Missing. Now I don't know a whole lot about this game other than the fact that I think we have actually found a phone and this is where we start guys. We find the phone, here is the lock screen, we open the phone and then pretty much all of the things get uncovered as we go. It's the sort of thing I really really enjoy, these kind of mysterious slowly developing things. So let's get straight into this, let's unlock this phone and unreveal the secrets. Unreveal? Should be reveal. Yeah, okay. Let's just do it! <laughs> Here we go. The phone is open. Alright, system failure. Your device ran into a problem and needs to reset. Do you want to restore your device to an earlier time? If you'd like to know more, you can search online for this critical error. I guess we probably should do that. System restore. Please wait while we restore your device. Do not switch off while restoration- Restoration is in process. Who is Iris? Is that like the AI of the phone? I think it must be 23 minutes? Are you kidding me? 52? Oh my god, this is only going up and up. Ah! What the heck? Welcome back, Sarah. This phone appears to be... Oh my goodness, wow. You don't appear to be Sarah. Have we met? I don't think we have. I'm gonna click on the messages right here. Have we met? I'm not Sarah. Who is Sarah? Who is Sarah? That's a really good question. Iris is typing. Sarah Young is the rightful owner of this phone. Please return it to her. View. This is Sarah right here. I guess we may have found it. I wish I could, but how? But she's not here. I guess we've got to return a phone to this girl then, but how? I don't know. What situation are we in? Based on your response, I assume she's not with you. I don't even know her, dude. I don't know who Sarah is. It's a big mystery to me. It seems that the last video she took implies that she is in danger. Would you like to watch it and help me verify? What have we gotten ourselves into? Yeah, sure. Let's see what you got. Yeah, sure. Sending something. Play. I hear footsteps. This is Sarah. Whoa. Sarah? You okay? Let's go back slowly. Something's going on here, guys. She does not look fine. This is the only file left at this moment. The rest of the content seems to be deleted or intentionally damaged. Intentionally damaged? How badly is the phone damaged? It's a good question. It appears that only 14.3% of this device is operational. That's very precise. I think Sarah is in trouble. I think she is. That, <laughs> that does not look good. She had the phone on her while she was in danger. We've now found the phone. She lost it in between. Clearly that right there and something else. Yes, it would appear so. I'm this mobile's intelligent recognitive iconolatry system. Let me try that again. Intelligent recognitive iconolatry system. Iris, it is in my best interest and in your good conscience to locate her immediately. I would, but I mean, I don't even know what's going on. We've just found this phone. Why do you want me to help find Sarah? Why do you care? Why do you want me to help find Sarah? The second one sounds a bit arrogant. This kind of reminds me of like Walking Dead with the multiple choices here. She is my owner. I want to make sure she is safe. It is my prime directive. You want? You sound human. These responses are a bit kind of, you know, yes. Very straightforward. I want. We are wasting precious time here. Will you help me find Sarah? I mean, we've got a phone. We don't really have much of a choice, man. I kind of want to know what's happened here. I'm down for the concept, man. Let's find Sarah. I need to restore as much of the contents in this phone as I am able to. Memo added, find Sarah. Please press the back button, then tap and hold anywhere on the home screen to proceed. Tap and hold anywhere on the home screen to proceed. Here we go. I believe I can recover some of this phone's data. Good, that's a good sign so we can find out what else happened to Sarah other than just that message. She heard footsteps. What does that mean? Someone was following her or something was. Yes, we would like to be restored now. I am starting the restore process right now. Good. Okay, guys, fingers crossed. Let's hope everything comes through okay. Remember, you can tap and hold at any part of the phone to ask me for help with anything. Okay, this thing wants to help us then. But if it's something out of my capabilities, I will let you know with a beep. Got it. All right, so messages. Messages restored. Let's go straight into these. So, wow. All right, we've got a fair few. Hmm, could any of these lead to what happened to Sarah? Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. So, what are you up to this weekend? Swamp with work, actually. Why? I need a favor. You always need a favor. Hey, I don't mean to be mean. I'll read through these quickly, guys, but if something seems off, I'll definitely jump in. Instantly coming back in, guys. What the heck? I really want to go to this gathering. You mean a party? Yeah. I'm not really up for it, but it's your sort of thing, too. What do you mean? It's while purge nachs. I think that sounds like German or something. Isn't that the witch's feast? How is that my thing? You're a, pa a pagan. Hey, 
I follow you to church, all right? What's the big deal? Anyway, you're like into all these supernatural stuff too. Yeah, but I don't like parties with ghosts. I'm not going to fall for one of your convention initiations again, Faith. Oh, that was a joke. Come on. Plus, these aren't real witches. I bet I'm the only one around here. Just some guys playing Coven. We all do it, you know? Halloween, hello. I don't know, Faith. Maybe not. Ask me again tomorrow or something. Mm -hmm. First sign, that's a bit unusual. Hi, mom. I just wanted to check in. Derek and I have decided to end things. Things were not looking out, so but I'm okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Sarah, but I've always known that Derek could never keep up with you. Best you end things before it got too serious. What time is your flight back? I can have my driver pick you up from the airport. Right. Well, Mom, actually, don't panic. I've decided to stay. Sarah, I don't understand. You've just came out of a relationship and you're in a foreign land. Why would you want to stay? I need some time for myself, Mom. Being at home, just, I can't. What do you mean you can't? Get on that plane and come home. Mom, no. I can't. I've cancelled the flight tickets already anyway. Why in the world would you do something as stupid as that, Sarah? Mom, listen. Sarah, come home right this instant. I will get my assistant to buy you a new ticket right now. Mom, no. I'm not coming home and that's final. At least not yet. Sarah, I've scheduled you to meet with my executive creative director of Lloyd Irving, the advertising agency, at noon tomorrow. Don't embarrass me. I have a seminar to go to and we've already talked about this. I'm not changing my major and I'm certainly not going to be a copywriter. Tomorrow's seminar is pretty important for my grades. I can't skip it even if I wanted to. You're really going to pick your silly research on ghosts of all things over possibly working in a top agency? I simply don't understand and your fixation on ghosts, Sarah. I've let it go on for too long. I only want to help build you a promising career, not throw it all away just to be a ghost hunter. First of all, stop calling me that. Ghost research or ghost anything. It's parapsychology. And secondly, I don't want to be a copywriter like you. It's just not what I want. I hope you can understand that. Dad would understand. You know, the only reason why you can go on and do all of your nonsense is because I allow it. I'm trying to make sure you have a future, at the very least, a good paying job, or job that pays anything. How are you going to pay the bills with this kind of career path? The only reason you can do this is because you're living under my roof and I'm paying for all of your expenses. You've lived a pretty comfortable life and a sport one at that. I've given you nothing but the best and all I've asked for you is that you go and do this one meeting and you shoot it down without even thinking about it. How ungrateful of you. And your father, he was a good man, rest his soul, but useless at living. He was a bum. I won't stand for it. You've become just like him. Okay, mom, going in for a meeting. I'll be home earlier today. You will have dinner at home. We will talk further about this. Okay, so the father is dead, and it appears like there is a bit of a crisis going on here. So Sarah wants to be some kind of ghost hunter. Parapsychology, I believe, was the term she used, and maybe this is what kind of leads to her disappearance. Just an interesting thought there. So this seems like this dispute with the boyfriend now and her. Hey, you there? What do you want? Nothing. I just, I'm about to board. Why should I care? Well, that's one of the problems, isn't it? You barely care. Did you text me to tell me that? You're such an a-hole. Look, I didn't mean... I definitely didn't mean to hurt you. I mean, I wish things were different. I don't want us to end, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I'm trying to tell you that. This was not how I planned things to be. Things ended when you left. You and your planning. Enough plans. You plan and plan and plan, but you never do anything. All you do is run and work and use your work as an excuse to avoid confronting the issue. So the boyfriend is some kind of fashion photographer, and I think he has to photograph naked women. So that's probably why uh, Sarah's not too keen on being with this guy anymore. He sees it as a job, and she does not see it that way. I mean, I guess she's probably a bit annoyed with him. Go away, Derek. Just go away. You're good at that, at least. That's one damn thing you're good at. Just go. No, thanks to you. I don't even know how to get back to our challenge. Our, sorry, my mistake. It's mine now. So, yeah, it seems like something really went bad. Hey, boy delicious. You okay? Feeling like the dumps? Come join me in some ABS at the club. Sorry, I got an assignment. I can't do it. Skip it. Come and do the club. Pretty much, that's what it's saying. Sorry, you know I won't want to miss hanging out with you guys, but some other time, it's ladies night. We need a break. Come on. Tempting, but I'm gonna pass. Besides, I haven't gone clubbing in years. Then it went quiet for a few days. Hey, you there? Why haven't you been replying to me? I've texted you last night. I heard you went out with Faith last night. Why didn't you call me? Oh, man. Okay, you can see there was no texting going on. This was at 1 a.m. Then it kind of goes towards 6 p.m. So that's nearly 18 hours. No reply from Sarah. And these two must be really close friends. So that's very interesting. We've got four more messages to read. All right, it's time for Buddy. So how was your trip? It was terrible. Why was it terrible? I broke up with Derek. Sorry to hear that. You free this week? No, I'm pretty busy. I've got my final to deliver. I'm doing a research on relativity of ghosts to the culture and how it transcends from verbal tales handed down through the generations to a digital and cyberspace hauntings. Are you into <coughs> what? Okay. And the rest of that pretty much transcends into this guy trying to pull her using very, very cheesy phrases and uh, kind of disturbing ones, which I wish I didn't read.
Brilliant. All right, over to Jill. Here we go. He's so annoying. I'm over him. Forget him, Sarah. You're on your own now. We all have our ups and down. Why don't you do something crazy? I mean, you're doing it now. Your endless research. I don't know. I guess you are right. You are a genius in your bat. Ugh, I'm so stupid. Yeah, you are sometimes, but go easy on yourself. You're just getting used to it. It's one thing to break up and another to move on. Can you do me a favor? What? Meet someone new. That was quick. Go meet a crazy friend. Try a dating app. You never know. I don't know how to make friends. I already have one crazy friend. I don't think I can handle another. If I meet someone interesting, I usually just buy them a drink and take them home. I'm not too sure about dating apps. Sometimes I can't tell if you are joking. Go have a conversation with someone at a cafe or something. A pie might not be a bad idea. Go and have some fun. I don't know. Just try. Okay, I will. Thanks, Jilly. No problem. I'm here for you if you need me. Saving you has become my speciality. Very, very funny. So maybe Jill is some kind of close friend with her. Maybe she helps her out when times get tough. Like now, pretty much. She's just broken up with Derek and she's trying to lend a helping hand. Hey, have a safe flight back. Good luck and I hope you save lots of lives there. Thanks. I'll be back sooner than you think. I will miss you. Don't run into zombies and stuff. Even if you do somehow, I think you'll find a cure for it. I might just take care of you. So now it seems like Jill must have parted with her friend. Coffee? 01800. Yeah, sure. But let's make it 630. Oh, 1830 it is. Bring the stuff I gave you yesterday. Next time, bring your own research, okay? Don't be like that. I gotta go. Okay, that was very, very short. And then we have the uni group chat. That was unavailable. So we've been through all of the documents right there. Let's check out- Whoa, the gallery failed to launch. Unfortunately, this app has stopped working. Please contact the developer. So the gallery is not working. Let me try that again. No, it's not gonna have it. That is completely locked out. Iris has given us a message though. As I calculated, only a minor portion of the phone's contents are available. Where should I start? That's true. Where should I start? Perhaps try going through her text history. Suspicious conversations. Ah, I think I've just done that already. I kind of bashed through all of her messages and I found some weird stuff. So let's go back to Iris and talk. We've kind of got to step ahead. What do I do if I find something interesting? I found a few interesting things to be honest already. So let's see. You may tap and hold on anything interesting or suspicious. I will lend my assistance and look into it. We're going to tap and hold on this one first. It says you're not normally like this. I knew this one would be something. Sarah's actions. It's unusual. How do you know what is unusual? Why is that? That's the deeper question. Why are our actions unusual? Through various calculations of Sarah's regular activities and choices that she makes in her daily life. What is Sarah usually like? That's a good question. How does it differ? Her recent behavior shows that she is suffering from abrupt and apparently unaccountable change of moods. Interesting. Possibly due to her relationship issue. I agree with you. You're freaky Irish. It is kind of weird, but at the same time, she's being honest. But I am no doctor. I love how I just called Iris a she. I gave her an identity. So we've been through that one. There was another one that was strange. The first messages that we actually read, it says about a witch's feast. That was kind of unusual. I'm not really sure why I should be talking about it. A wapersnatch? Curious. What is that? Let's just just double check and make sure we're correct in our thinking. Or Walk Purgis Night in, in English is one of the Dutch and German names for the night of 30th of April. So called because it is the eve of of the feast day of St. Walpurga, an 8th century abscess something something. It is believed to be the night of the witches' meeting. That's the most important bit here. What should we do next? It's a good question. I have no idea how this is going to further. I fear that Sarah is involved in something much deeper. <sighs> Oh boy, okay, that's not good. I think there might be more clues to her whereabouts if we can look through her pictures. I believe there's an error with the gallery. Would you kindly tap on the app and hold on it for me? Yes, we will. It did not work the first time. Now it seems like it's got it working. Please wait while I find what's wrong. Fingers crossed we can get into this. This might hold some very, very important clues. It seems Sarah has kept it locked. You'll need the passcode to proceed further. The hint is Sarah's birthday. Can you just tell me? I mean, that would be so much more simpler. I'm afraid I can't reveal personal information. You need to find that out yourself. Where would I start looking for? That's a good question. Oh, oh, the emails, the emails. This email here, it says, it's your birthday month. Celebrate, but there's no date in this email. Can I like click and hold on this? Maybe it'll give me the date. We cannot. Got it. It was in her contact book. She actually registers her own birthday. So 1493. That's what I'm going to be trying first. So back over to gallery. So it was 1493. Let me try that. Unlock. Maybe it's going to be done in a different way. Maybe just 1993. 1993. Unlock. Really? Oh, two, nine, uh, one. I said one. Why did I say one? Nine, three. Unlock. <laughs> No, are you seriously? What? 1402, perhaps? There we go. It was the day and month. It had nothing to do with the year. Let's go into the gallery. And now let's have a look. She's got five videos, 64 photos. Let's try and find a suspicious photo amongst these. Iris has just confirmed that. There is a strange photo in the gallery. Take a look at it. All right, let's find this photo. That's a bit of a weird one. What the heck is this, dude? I'm going to click and hold on this guy. Knew it. That was a weird photo. It seems the photo correlates with a video and chat thread that Sarah has recently deleted. 
Would you like me to retrieve the data? Yes, absolutely. I want to see what the heck is going on. Please wait a moment while I restore that data for you. I have successfully restored the chat thread of Sarah's contact James. The video, did that say suggest something? Let's head over to the videos and see. So that was the video there. I don't really think any of these other ones have any relevance. Let's just have a look. Nah, they kind of seem pretty normal. Just seems to be general interactions. And I guess we could say the same for the rest. What's this one here? The question remains, are ghosts still relevant in oh, today's okay. society? Well, I think we mm. all know that ghost stories sort of started out with cavemen sitting around a fire, a campfire telling each other these stories to okay. scare each other, right? And then it evolved into um, superstition, there was religion, the 19th century came around, and then of course, the advent of vampires. Yes. But vampires reside in the vampires. night. Vampires. So how is it that <laughs> till today, we still have ghosts, and now ghosts have actually moved over into cyberspace. Cyberspace. Okay. So this seems to be like research relevant. notes, perhaps. There's someone in the back, too. Not that that yes. probably has any relevance at all. Just might be the boyfriend, I'd imagine. <laughs> oh! oh my goodness, why did that scare me so much, dude? <laughs> I thought that was literally someone coming to attack her. Like the long hair draped over the face looked like a monster or something. <laughs> I'm just flicking through these now. There's a new conversation with Faith restored. You can see something goes wrong here. Hey, where are you? Why are you picking up? I've been calling for 15 minutes. If you don't pick up, I'm leaving. So something went wrong. Let's just listen to the voice message. What the heck, man? Okay, that's not a female. That is not a female right there. That is super, super strange. And it also restored some of these here. Oh, jeez. Okay, things went bad, guys. I got something for you if you're interested. Hey, Jam. Yeah, I am. Better be good. Kinda. There's this thing called the Red Room. There have been reports of people dying throughout weird circumstances, like after checking out the weird website and some stuff and bam. So yeah, they said that if you visit the site that your computer or phone will start freaking out. Pop-ups will start... Guys, what happens? You've got to think as well. When we open the phone, it did the weird static thing. Let's just look at the video message. Whoa, dude. Oh my god. Oh, this is freaking me out. Okay. Well, yeah. I literally can't put that on. What the hell? That was super weird. Has it stopped? Okay, the phone has gone really, really weird right now. Uh, Iris, what's going on? What the heck? What's it going on? Something is wrong. Are you okay? My controls are malfunctioning. I can't seem to- Can't seem to what? Time to continue. What do you mean by red room? Iris has gone red. The red room, a comp site, urban legend. Yes, we know of the red room. It went bad, guys. It is allegedly a hidden website for a service on the deep web. While you can see and or participate in interactive torture. What the hell is going on? I found another message that was recently deleted. This might hold some clues. I was able to restore it for you. Would you kindly see and look at it under the Arizu text thread? Hello there, is this Sarah? I am Irizu. I received your contact from Faith. She told me you are coming for our little party. Hey, Irizu. Yeah, I'm supposed to meet her here. What's going on? I apologize, but reception here is undesirably terrible. And besides, we have a rule. No mobile phones allowed. I am here to escort you safely to the venue. Escort? Yes, my dear. It is hard to navigate in the dark alone. It is part of our experience. I'm not sure about this. Can I talk to Faith? No, you may not. I apologize, but like I said, phones are not allowed. She is safe here. Probably drunk already. Faith doesn't get drunk. How do I know you're really her friend? I have known her since high school. I don't think she's ever mentioned you. I keep a low profile. I'm not sure about this. I think I'll leave. Leave? I'm almost there. Faith will be disappointed that you didn't show up. Almost there? Where? To where you are, of course. How do you know where I am? Faith told me she was meeting you there. I'd prefer if you didn't come here, please. I'm almost here. Stop wherever you are. Do not worry, you are safe. I am going to ring you. Please pick up. Oh my goodness, something bad happened, man. Can I call Iris for this? <laughs> James? Hello? Sarah? Yeah? What? Sarah, where are you? Can you hear me? Yes? Sarah, I'm at the cop site, Sarah! What happened? What happened? What the heck? James is typing? Why aren't you speaking? I need to talk to you. Well, it says we're offline. How is he getting messages through? I can't talk to him, dude. He's ringing again. Sarah? What? Are you there? Yes! Sarah? Hello? Yes? It's not working. Hello. What the heck was that? that? Yes? What the heck was that, man? 
What the hell is going on, dude? This is so weird. Did you go to that party? Please tell me you didn't. It's real bad news. We didn't go. How bad is bad? We didn't go. I should have really said, I'm not Sarah. Only if I can show you the madness. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm okay. You need to explain what's going on. I should have said, I'm not Sarah. Whoops. I acted way too fast there. Check this out. What is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Those who are trying to prepare themselves the? for entry into... Who's that? Who's that? What the- Whoa! Oh my goodness, this is so weird, man. This is weirding me the heck out. This is really- Like, this is- This is another level of freakiness, because that's like videos, and they're real. Recruitment. Um, I just clicked something then. Hold on. Hold on. That is disturbing. I guess I clicked the right one. Dude, he's, he's a goner. He's a goner. Oh my god. Dude, put the phone out and just run! It's- It's gone. It's gone. This is it, dude. What- What do- what, Let me help you! Can I help him? They saw him. Who? Who? Who saw you? I don't know what's going on, man. This is bad. This is so bad. Hello? James? He's still here. No, they didn't. That was close. Okay. I'm hiding behind this. I don't know what this is. Yeah, he's hiding behind something. I hear a sound. Just ignore tasting us. Just go. We're fine. Wow, I don't know if Sarah's fine. I think she went to the party, man. I think she's with these guys. I can't do anything about it. I are you there? He's just sending- James? It's the guy. If you read the messages the way he says hello, you can see who is this. This isn't James. I know this isn't James. You are not Sarah, but you pretend to be. Why? I need him to trust me. We needed him to trust us. Interesting. How's that interesting? Explain. Whoa, this is crazy, guys. What the heck? Many choices do not matter. Not as much as we think, anyway. But this next choice you make may. What do you mean? Who am I talking to? James would not type like that. That's why I didn't choose the second one right there. That's James, all right. He's got James. What's going on? Share this link with another. Anyone. Everyone. Or say goodbye to a brief acquaintance. You have two minutes. What? How do I share this? What do you mean? How do I share this? Why are you doing this? What? Now Iris is talking to me. Hang on a sec. Uh, don't share the link. I'm not gonna- No, I'm not sharing the link. No way. Iris is telling me not to. I'm not sending it. No. I'm listening to Iris right now. He sent another photo. Oh boy. Oh boy, this ain't good. I- I don't know what to do, man. If I share that link, it's bad. It's real bad. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna wait this out, man. I'm not- that, Okay, this is getting crazy now. This is like- He's gonna kill the dude. Let's talk to Iris. What else can I do? Good question. What really can we do in this situation right here? Come on, Iris. You've got to give us an answer. Offline. James sent a photo. What the heck? What is that? I can't make out what's going on. What the heck? Don't share the link. Wait, is he dead? Wait, hold up. There's the blade. You can see the blade right there. James is dead, man. Why did you do that? What the heck? He's talking to us through this one now. It's me again. That confirms it. It's the same guy now. I apologize for not introducing myself. How rude of me. Who the hell are you? Come on, reveal your identity, man. Or something about you. Your appearance was not expected. But here you are nonetheless. My name is Iruzu. I am one of the, how do you say, leaders for tonight's ceremony. We have met on a very fortunate night. Cherish this moment, my stranger friend. Are you crazy? You just killed someone, man. He did. He literally just murdered someone. Me? Kill? Never. Do not take me as a lowly murder. Please do not misunderstand my intentions. Then why? The, the the dude was dead. You could see like the blood trickling from him. As I said before, I do not kill. And that man was anything but poor. He was a deceiver. A deceiver? How so? You will never be privy to that information, my young friend. Nor will you need it to further your quest. Quest? What is this? Good question. What quest are we even on? Where are my manners? I have told you my name, but not what I do. I fear that my age has somewhat dulled me to these. Simple talk. Small talk, as you call it. It does not matter much what I do, but what's important for you to know, my young friend, is that you, like everyone else in this world, you have a choice. I am here to offer you that choice. You didn't offer the choice to James. What choice? The choice is simple, yet not. So... It's not simple. <laughs> just tell me. Come on. We just want to know what this choice is you're speaking of, man. Would you like to join us? I believe you have the potential. It is rare for me to offer this to someone who is uninitiated. Yes, no. Simple. Yet yeah, not. No! I don't want to join this sick cult. We just watched him murder someone. What if life itself is was in the balance? Say these two young ravishing women. That's Sarah. 
That's her friend. Memo closed, find Sarah. You choose between them who lives to see the sunrise tomorrow. How do I choose? You maniac! You said you do not kill! He did! What the heck is going on? But I do not. It is not my choice. Sacrifice is not the act of pure destruction. It is merely a transformation. Life is perpetual. I leave it up to you. God himself makes these decisions all the time. Does he not? Why not ease some of the work for him or her or it? Whatever it is that your God is. Sarah or Faith. Their names mean nothing to you, but to us, they are what binds them to this flesh and mud. Say one of their names and know that it will be their last breath. There is no sweeter invite than a last breath to welcome you. One passes and another comes. What say you? This is insane. I love this! Why me? Why me putting in this situation? Why? Why not? This guy's insane, dude. It is fun. It is fun? Since you are here anyway, why not choose? Everything in life is a choice. Whether you join us or not, it makes no difference. Yes or no? Sarah or Faith? You have 10 s- I have 10 seconds?! I can kill Sarah or Faith! Uh, I, I, guys, I don't know what happens if I wait the 10 seconds. What happened? Faith! I had to, guys. I had no choice. What happened? We're responsible for that, dude. I can't believe it. Look at the guy, like, the guy's, like, staring her in the face. We did this. I can't believe it. The deed is done. Welcome, my child. You are indeed a rare being. Answer me this. Why did you choose Faith? I wanted to see her die. It is all meaningless in this world? I wanted to see what you would do to her. Okay, this character is starting to go a bit twisted now. It's all meaningless in the end. It is? It may seem meaningless for now, but life has as much meaning as we put it. Come now, we've been given the coordinates. Oh my goodness. What the heck is going on? Dude, I can't- I can't exit? Let me scan this for Iris. What does Iris say about this? She's gone red again. It's a tough choice. It is? We might find Sarah there. But had to be done. Sarah means too much to me. It hurts to see Faith go. Sarah knew Faith for the longest time. I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone else to die. I hope Faith doesn't mind. I feel obliged to say the second one just to see what would happen, guys. It seems obvious to choose the first one and get like the kind of the sub story, but our characters seem to be twisting a little bit. I'm gonna choose the second one, dude. I don't know why I'm doing this. Death is the wish of some, the relief of many, and the end of all. Wow, at least Sarah's okay. We need to find her quick. We have the coordinates. We do, we have the coordinates, dude. Dude, what the heck's going on? What's going on with the music? Dude, I don't know what's going on. You've made it this far. Too bad, you won't make it much further. But you know that you now have become part of something much larger. All will be revealed in due time, but not this instant. Any last words, as you humans are so fond of leaving words behind? I'm awestruck, I feel empty. I want more. This guy went twisted, dudes. I'm gonna do it! Death wants more death, and its webs are full. Till we meet again. It's not that I don't love our little chats. It's just... I don't love them. What? What does that even mean? Well, that was an interesting adventure. What the heck, dude? It seems like in the end, then, Sarah went to an occult. Or something, some kind of occult. While the Red Room was evolved. I wonder if what found her was because she went in the Red Room. That's what it makes me think now. Because that all leads from there. The dude was saying about the red room and once you kind of visit it, you never come back and they find you through your phone. The phone was glitching out all the times with it and the background would go like red. I think it was the red room, guys. That has been Sarah's Missing. I think this game probably has a lot more to develop as well. Interesting decisions were made throughout this playthrough and it was actually really, really good. I hope you guys did enjoy this different pace of video as well. It was a longer video, but it's very interesting to see the way this whole plot developed. So if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like button? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video guys i of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one